One of our most fundamental marching exercises is the 8-4-2-1 breakdown. It breaks our forward marching step into four parts, and they are step, push, pass, and flex. We'll show you the exercise one time, we'll break it down for you, and then we will show you one more time. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, push, pass, flex. Step, push, pass, flex. Here are the four. Step, push, pass, flex. Step, push, pass, flex. And the two. Step, push, pass, step, push, pass, step, push, pass, step, push, pass. And one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So what happens is on the, the eights, we take the one marching step and we break it into eight counts. And we take that step and we cut the amount of counts in half, and then we do the same thing going to the two. And when we get to one, they're taking a normal marching step with the emphasis being on legs straight, good posture, toes up, and the heel striking the ground exactly on the downbeat. So we're going to take the eight count portion for you. This is the eight count portion. So each of the four parts gets two counts. Step, push, pass, flex. And on that flex, you want to really make sure that the toes are nice and high. We want to demonstrate really, really good style at all times. And we do this enough times so that it becomes automatic so that you can think about things like direction and playing all the all the notes in the music okay here is the eight count only five six five six seven eight step, one two push, three four pass, five six flex, seven eight step, step two three push, four pass, five six flex. seven eight okay and eight gets gets them ready for the next step that flex, they're almost ready to fall forward so that the, the heel hits exactly on one. Go ahead and close your feet, please. This is the four count version. They're going to get one count for each component of the step. Step, push, pass, flex. Step, push, pass, flex. And we have them say it in time so that it helps them execute in the right count. Here we go, the four count only, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, step push, push, pass, pass flex. flex. Step, step, push, pass, flex. And then we're gonna go to the two count and they get two counts to do all four. So each component, go ahead and close your feet, please. Each component gets half a count. Step, push, pass, flex, step, push, pass, flex. That's kind of hard to say. So we only ask the students to say, step, push, pass, step, push, pass. The flex is uh, still emphasized. It's just not spoken because it's difficult to say. Here's the two count only. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, step push, pass, pass step, step, push, pass, pass, step, step push, push, pass, step, push, pass, step, step push, pass. pass. Okay, close the feet. That was pretty good, guys. What I would tell this group is that they still need to make sure that they pass that their left foot passes their right foot, their right foot passes the left foot as they say the word pass. Um, we do have a tendency to kind of rush this portion, but it's, it's generally very good. Here is the one count. This is, this is what the normal marching step looks like. One step per count. Five, step, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, point, halt. We point our toe. Some folks call this a stab on count eight to provide a clean, uniform close to the exercise. We'll give them a second to shake it out, relax. Very good, guys. <clears throat> we'll take it from this angle now and let them come past. Yeah, we can turn it around, sure. <laughs> We won't use any commands for that, but sure. Here we go with the eight, four, two, one breakdown one final time for you. Set please. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Step, push, pass, flex. Step, push, pass, flex. 
Notice how mechanical and rigid they are during the eight count. And as they get to fours and twos, it smooths out until it's very natural.